Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and in this video I'm not going to ask you the mode of inheritance you see here. I can give you an answer right away. This is X-Link dominant inheritance example and the purpose of this video is just to demonstrate you how such genetic disorders are inherited. So uh, imagine that this person who is affected, this male, has one defective X chromosome of course, not the whole chromosome would carry uh, defective genes, but uh, only one gene that specifies this genetic disorder would be um, defective, and another sex chromosome would be Y chromosome. I'm using green color to designate that this is normal chromosome. And phenotype and genotype uh, of the female you see normal, so female here would have two normal X chromosomes. And now what is interesting would be the pattern of inheritance. So male genotype here on the top, defective X chromosome and normal Y chromosome. And female's genotype would be two normal X chromosomes. And if we build a Punnett square, we can find how this genetic disorder would be inherited. And you would see that here we have defective X chromosome inherited from the father side and normal X chromosome inherited from the mother side and then uh, defective X chromosome inherited from the father side, normal X chromosome inherited from the mother side and also normal X chromosome inherited from the mother side normal Y chromosome inherited from the father side, normal X, normal Y here. So you see that uh, all females that has two X chromosomes would be affected. So 100% of the daughters in this family would be affected because this is X-linked dominant genetic disorder and one defective uh, X chromosome would be enough to manifest this genetic disorder and all daughters would get this defective uh, chromosome from their father. So that's why we see here that all females here, uh, the, they have this genetic disorder because they got defective X chromosome from their father. And another uh, X chromosome, normal X chromosome, they have to get from the mother side. But still, as you see, the genotypes would be uh, defective X and normal X and phenotype would be affected. And we also have to take into account that all other genetically unrelated people that marry into this family would have normal uh, genotype and phenotype. So this male would be normal XY and this male here also would be normal XY. So now uh, it is interesting uh, what would happen in the next generation. So let's uh, also put uh, genotype of the normal male is going to be normal X and normal Y and both these females has uh, one defective X chromosome. So uh, defective X and normal X. Once again when we build a Punnett square we would see the pattern that would be different from the top example. So this time we would have defective X chromosome inherited from the mother side here, defective X chromosome inherited from the mother side here, and we also would have normal X chromosome and normal Y chromosome here. Uh, we also would have normal X chromosome inherited from the mother side, normal X chromosome inherited from the father side, and again, normal X chromosome from the mother side, normal Y chromosome inherited from the father side. So this time we see that 50% of the females, uh, daughters, uh, offspring would be affected and 50% of the males and 50% of the females and 50% of the males would be unaffected. And on the average 50% of the children would be affected and 50% of the children would be unaffected. 
So this is exactly what we see in the following generation. We see that uh, both females and males here would be uh, affected and both females and males would be unaffected so ratio would be one to one. Uh, it's not necessary exactly to be one to one because uh, number of children in human uh, families are limited so uh, we even can see that uh, sometimes all the children can be affected or all the children can be unaffected but anyway uh, we know that genotypes here would be defective X chromosome here and normal Y chromosome, defective X chromosome here and normal X chromosome. And the rest would have normal genotype and phenotype. So normal XY, normal XX. And this person, uh, this male, would also have normal X and Y genotype. And once again, in the other family here, where female is affected, male is unaffected, we also would see the same pattern. So we would see that defective X chromosome we would find here and here, normal Y chromosome, normal X chromosome, and normal Y chromosome here. And female here also uh, genetically unrelated also would have two normal X chromosomes and uh, once again in this family where male is affected, female unaffected, we would see that only daughters would be affected. So these males cannot be affected because they cannot get X defective X chromosome from their father, they get only uh, Y chromosome from their father. So they get Y chromosome from their father and normal X chromosome from their mother. But uh, female here got normal X chromosome from her mother and defective X chromosome from her father. Now we only left this uh, four people. Uh, we have to define uh, also the uh, genotypes. We know the phenotypes. We know that the mother affected has a defective X chromosome and the father is unaffected. So basically uh, this uh, Punnett square describes uh, all the possible combinations that we may get here. And as you see 50% of the females would be un uh, affected, 50 unaffected, 50% 50 of the males would be affected and 50 unaffected. So all of them uh, who would be affected would get defective X chromosome from the mother side. For example, this female got one defective X chromosome from the mother side, another normal X chromosome from the father side. This male got defective X chromosome from the mother side, normal Y chromosome from the father side. Next uh, male uh, got normal X chromosome from the mother side, normal Y chromosome from the father side, and the last female got defective X chromosome from the mother side and normal X chromosome from the father side. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.